Hello YouTube and welcome to another PFSense tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can install and use the PFSense API. So are you ready? Let's get started. So yes, uh, while PFSense doesn't come with the built-in API by default, you can enable it and use the PFSense API via a community plugin called pfSense package API which has actually which add actually rest like API interface to manage many aspects of pfSense so we're gonna see that okay so first thing first if I go to the menu system here you can see there is no menu associated with the rest API and you will notice after we install actually this package, new menu will appear under the system menu okay so in order to install this uh, package api package there are many different ways you can of course connect to pfsense via ssh and install it but there is also a better solution and pretty easy one is to use the GUI okay so actually all you have to do is to go to the menu diagnostics Okay, and then you will find here a command prompt. So here you can execute whatever command that you want. Okay, so where we can actually find this uh, package. Okay, so it's pretty simple. So you have to go to this uh, actually GitHub from Jared Hendrickson. Okay, so you can see here there is a pfSense API actually directory and here under releases you can find or you can actually download or add the packages to your pfSense okay so of course here on pfSense I'm using the latest version which is actually as you can see here version 2.8.0 okay so we're gonna actually uh, add the package dedicated to this version here okay so as you can see here for the pfSense REST API it's compatible with our actually version okay so this is the link to the pfSense 2.8.0 okay and of course if you are using commercial actually uh, pfSense version you can download this one which is version 24.11 okay so let's go to our command prompt here and the, the diagnostics menu in order to add this package okay here we go and of course you will find all the commands and the links to the github repository on the description of this video okay so as you can see it's simple command package static add and here you will provide the link to the rest api so let's execute this command and see what we get so i clicked on this execute button and we will wait for some time in order to get the result okay so here we go we have shell output okay so it seems that it has installed actually this pfSense package REST API which has the version 2.5 okay so we have successfully installed this package okay so let's verify what we have told you before that normally when you install this package a new menu will appear under the system menu so let's click on the system menu and voila indeed now as you can see we have new menu has been created called rest api so let's click on it so you can here see different actually uh, settings for the rest api okay so in order to demonstrate the use of this api let's create just a simple user okay and let's call it for example api user in order to do some testing so i will go to system user manager okay 
So here you can see that I have different users. Let's create another one. Okay. So for example, I will call it API user just to then to distinguish it from the others. I will uh, give it, of course, a password. Here we go. Okay. And let's make it also an admin. So I will click on admin group. So it's admin privileges. Okay. And let's save that. Okay, so now as you can see our API user has been added. Okay. So after that we're gonna simply generate an API key. Okay. So for that normally you have to enable uh, API authentication. Okay. So let's return back to our menu system. REST API. Okay. So in order to generate keys, normally we go to this uh, keys tab, okay, in order to generate a key. But as you can see here, we have an important message. Key authentication is not currently enabled. You may create keys, but they cannot be used until key authentication is enabled on the REST API settings. Okay, so let's enable this uh, key authentication. So. For that the authentication method here, I will choose simply a uh, key here. Okay. And now let's save that. Okay. So let's return back to our keys. So as you can see here, we don't have any more the message. And let's generate our keys. Okay, so let's add key here. So as you can see here, we can choose the key hashing algorithm. So there are many, but I will keep with the default here, which is SHA-256. For the length byte, I will just keep 16, though I can choose between 24, 32 or 64. And for the description, I will just, for example, type API keys for testing, for example. And let's save that. Okay, so here is our API key. So we can uh, read this message. The changes has been applied successfully. Store this API key in a secure location. Once you navigate away from this page, this key cannot be recovered. So you must keep this key in a secure location. Okay. So I'm gonna simply copy it and paste it on my notepad for later use. Okay. So now I can move on from this page. Okay, so now in order to test this API key, it's pretty simple. You can just execute a curl command or you can download the famous uh, program for the APIs, which called actually uh, Postman that allows you to actually execute API uh, queries. Okay, so here I will just use the curl command, which is a very famous command in Linux. So I will open my terminal here. And I will just actually input this command. So the command is something like this. Okay. So as you can see, I use here the curl command minus H. So I will get actually an input as a JSON format. Okay. So here you have to provide your uh, API key that we have copied before. Okay. Then here at the end, here I have actually input the domain name for my pfSense but you can replace it with your IP address and of course if you are using a port you can change this port slash API version 2 and here I'm gonna just for example show the firewall rules that I have 
So let's execute this command to see if indeed we get something. Here we go. We get a bunch of JSON file here, JSON output. So simply I'm going to just uh, copy the results. Okay, so something like that. It's a uh, JSON. Here we go. And I'm going to open a very famous website to format JSON, which is called jsonformatter.org. So let's just paste the result here in this uh, left window. Okay. Et voila, as you can see on the right, we get our result, okay, which is actually our firewall rules. So, of course, here we have the code 200, which means it's success. And here we have our data, which is are actually our uh, firewall rules. So here, for example, we have uh, a rule for the PF blocker that we have set up on the previous uh, videos, okay. So we have other rules for, for example, here for the OpenVPN remote access. So we have successfully uh, actually execute uh, requests using the API keys. Okay. And in order to be sure that our keys is working, so let's try to execute the same command, but let's change, for example, just one character from this API key. Okay, so you can see now, because we have changed our API key, we don't get actually the result because of course the authentication is failed due to the API key which is actually wrong. So if you are a programmer, you can use API keys on your software, for example, to make rules, get rules and get a lot of, or actually to manage PFSense by using the API keys. Okay. So that was just an introduction video to show you how to install and use the API, REST API for the PFSense, okay? So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. And if you have, of course, any suggestion for future videos, drop them in the comment below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye bye!